This resume, and then we have a couple more I'll probably save for Sunday just because we've been streaming over two hours. But um, Max, you're up first. It'll come through to you in just a second. Sure. Okay. Uh, professional experience. So you've executed, strategized, and designed sales that drove player engagement, monetization for some. Okay, so you've anonymized that. Got it. You've hypothesized, conducted A B tests. Um, okay, so you've got some quantified results here and that you've um, executed sales responsible for over 30% of the company's revenue. I think that you know you could dive a little bit deeper to say, um, what was the from to here? I think that that's always important. You know, there's like a few levels to quantifying your results. There's basic sort of, I did X, but but again, if you can speak to the from to, uh, took sales from, you know, uh, I don't know if prior to your engagement, maybe sales were only 20% of the company's revenue. If you helped sort of improve their contribution to that company's revenue, uh, this particular functional area, I think that that would be worth calling out and something you could absolutely share. The technical skills, can you scroll down a little bit to the hobbies? I'm curious what, what hobbies are. Let's see. Um, Jira and Confluence experience is fantastic. I think that that's good to call out tools in addition to the methodologies like Scrum and Agile. Oh, poli sci major. You're hiring right now, aren't you? <laughs> Let's see. Is it? Oh, man. Political. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, Max well, is sold. Max is done. Unfortunately, there are no jobs uh, called political science or maybe a few jobs called political science. Um, so I empathize with you here. Uh, what else? Uh, project co-founder. Oh, okay. So you're a co-founder and a product manager of this company. Um, I don't know. I'm not going to do the grade. This is your show. You do the grading. Um, I like this resume. I think that there's a lot of room for sort of improvement, um, uh, but uh, I'll, I'll turn it over to you. Well, no, now you've broken into jail. Like uh, you have to offer your opinion of a grade. Uh, believe me, it will not influence mine. Okay. All right. Um, I'm known I as will, the assassin when I do this. So I, 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 the, I, I like this audience. And so I don't want to build an enemy. And so don't take this the wrong way. I give this a, I, I give this a C. I think that there's a little bit more, you've got a lot on the hobby side and maybe, maybe that's just because there isn't a ton of experience um, to sort of speak to. But um, if you graduated in 2013, so what, what do you have about seven years of, of work experience? I would just sort of build that up a little bit more. I'm seeing just half of of it here, but um, I know that I'm on a delay here, but yeah, I, I would really sort of build out that experience uh, at these two companies in a little bit more detail and maybe minimize the hobbies uh, just a little bit and, and quantify some of your work that you did at those other companies. So a C, C to a C plus. All right. Uh, yeah. So this resume is uh, clearly uh, from someone uh, who's struggling a little bit in this sense. If you read the experience that they had from 2013 to 2017, it's not super powerful, uh, meaning uh, maintained records for rail activities. I'm not even sure what issued authority means, but it doesn't sound, it sounds administrative, monitored sound is administrative, created a training manual, sounds pretty administrative. Um, uh, and by the way, I think uh, when people are anonymizing resumes, you don't need to take the title off unless that title is like incredibly revealing. It kind of strips away our ability to know what you did. But I would say this person's 2013 to 2017 job was pretty rote. And so even still, you have to try and figure out uh, a little bit more to say about four years of your life than three bullets. I wouldn't want to... Um, uh, I wouldn't want to have so much on hobbies. Now, what I like about hobbies is, um, you obviously co-founded something and you can, uh, you know, again, when you're anonymizing, I don't think you probably had to pull out the specialized field software, you know, maybe, um, but, uh, it's up to you, whatever it takes for you to feel safe. The point is, uh, this isn't really a hobby in a way, um, you know, but again, there's no sales listed, so it's hard to know. There's no results. 
if you've really been a co-founder from 2015 to present, what have you sold? Who are your customers? You know, either this is overblown or you don't give enough detail. The foreign exchange analyst is a hobby, and I think that's fine. The tech skills are good. This resume is super hard to follow because like here you have someone who's worked four years. Basically, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be insulting, but it looks like mostly pushing some kind of paper for a train company. And then uh, also co-founding and being a foreign exchange uh, analyst and having all these tech skills, it's weird. The other thing I'll say is I'm all about uh, strong verbs, but executed, strategized, and designed is maybe a little overkill. You want kind of talk about how you came up with sales or how you drove player engagement then you you know break it up make several sentences uh, even more over the top was hypothesized conducted and analyzed ab tests um uh it's uh too many it's it's got big wordism uh you you've like decided there's extra points for syllables and it just sounds a little overblown uh you know, uh, it could be in more plain English. Uh, created testing strategy, uh, created A-B testing strategy uh, to accomplish end. The big thing missing here is mostly, again, results. You have results in the final bullet of each thing. Um, uh, and the last comment I'll make is no objective. So we don't know what you're trying to do. So uh, when I said most resumes are Ds, uh, this one's going to squeak by. I kind of agree with the C, but it's it's uh, it's mixed. There's tons of room, as as you said, Max, tons of room for improvement. So let's see. Let me check. I have a couple more resumes in queue, but we might need to make those folks come back. Um, let's see. Finally got around to it. I probably have 15 before my wife starts yelling at me. No, that's okay. We've, we've done plenty. So let's wrap up. We'll get to the other two resumes on Sunday, folks. Um, let me see if there's any more questions we really want to answer. And then I, um, I need to drop off too. Uh, but this has been a killer high power stream and it is fun. I appreciate by the way, all three people who did the resumes are here. Um, I appreciate you stepping up, offering a resume. I hope you get tons of value out of it. I want to see you be super successful, and that's why I'm very blunt. Um, and that's why we tear into them, and it's why we have the community tear into them as well, is to make you better. So uh, I want to see you kill it.